Welcome, everybody, to today's episode of the Comeback Podcast with your host, Mark Jennison, founder and creator of the Comeback, the man who's going to change your life. Today's topic is I want more. Sit back, relax, enjoy the ride. So, this morning, as we're getting ready, getting ready to go to your photo shoot or uh, shoot some new ads and photo shoots for our marketing department, I'm listening to Kendra talk to the kids and the four year old, Bailey. She's pouring her cereal, getting ready for the morning, and or pouring her breakfast, whatever it was. And Bailey says, "This, I want more. I want more." She hasn't even touched what was there. She hadn't even got milk or whatever inside of it to make it edible yet. She literally just instantly wanted more. Inherently, we are all born with the ability and the want and desire for more. Just take a look at your kids for a couple minutes. They're the greatest salesmen in the world. You take them to a toy store, you buy them a toy, you can buy them one every single day, three, four, five times a day. They want more, they want more, they want more, they want more, they want more. They're making choices just like you, just like I every day to ask and want for more. Where I'm going with this today is this. Somewhere along the lines, you decided that more wasn't an option. That you settled. You settled into the drinking sedated lifestyle. You settled into maybe a marriage or relationship that didn't work for you. You settled into being a mediocre, half-assed, part-time father at best. You settled into not doing your hobbies or sports or things you want anymore. So the question I have today is this. Where did that drive go? Where did that intensity go? Where did that desire and that lust and that want for more go? The good news is this, it's inside of you. The problem is you shut down that voice that you were listening to when you were a kid at some point because the world's views or ultimately maybe your views from the, their parents or from their, your surroundings or from the way that your life, whatever choice is made, you thought you didn't deserve more. You thought that what you have is what you have. Now here's a little secret. Once you peek around that curtain, like the Wizard of Oz, and you see what's truly possible, not just from a purely financial standpoint or relationship standpoint or, or anything, just for the potential standpoint of what's, in, what's possible for you. When you understand that you can literally have it all and you catch wind again of that same desire that you had inside of you from when you were a little child, a whole new you is going to open up. The problem is here. You've got to get past the chaos and the noise of the world, of Instagram, of Facebook, of even some of the content that I put out there to be able to listen to yourself. And this one, some relationships are tough. Your wife, your partner, your spouse, they don't think that they deserve more. That doesn't mean you can't love them. That doesn't mean you don't love them. That doesn't mean you don't listen to them. What that means is that you tap in yourself and you show them and you lead. And you let them know that there is more possible. And it's settling for whatever little bit of amount was poured into that cereal bowl isn't for you. And you demand a higher level of self-esteem. You demand a higher level of self-belief in yourself. You demand a higher level of success for your business, success for your family. You demand a higher level of love, desire, gratitude, and care for your family that you didn't know inside. Now, here's the thing. It has to take this discipline every single day to believe that. It's one thing to listen to this podcast. It's one thing to listen to any other Gary V, Tony Robbins, any person outside there that you may or may not listen to, and they're going to tell you the same thing. It is entirely and truly 1,000% up to you. I know that because I was like you. Because just like you, I found myself lost with the desire for more. I could hear the voice in the back of my head. I could hear it ringing. I could hear it talking to me. I could tell, it could tell me that there was more for me, that I had big things to do but I would shut it down and I would sedate it with drinks. I would sedate it with lies. I would quiet it with jukebox money at the fucking bar. I would quiet it by taking vacations that ultimately I would get so drunk I couldn't remember. And it was all a choice. So today, on a happy note, I just want to remind you guys that there's more out there for you. But do you believe it? Do you believe that today could be the day that you make your life desires come, full, come true? That you could put the pen to paper, you could just take a couple minutes and manifest, sit down and look at what is fucking possible for you on the outside. I think it is.
I want to thank you guys for sharing these moments with me. These podcasts are catching fire. Men are texting me. Women are texting me. My fiance loves them. She says I swear too much sometimes, but that, that's me. But for you guys out there who have nobody encouraging you, you have nobody in your corner and you feel alone. And you have that desire for more. It's in there, but you've been quiet and you get down. You haven't been able to listen to it. I want to invite you to fill out an application with us. My team or myself will take time off of our schedule. Our day to actually help you try to find something for Go ahead and fill out this application at Iamacomeback.com forward slash apply. Again, that is Iamacomeback.com forward slash apply and do something about it. That's it for today's five minutes of fire. I hope you have an amazing day. We'll see you on tomorrow's episode. I'm a comeback.